Well, good morning, St. Francis. This is Sunday, September the 6th, the long weekend of Labor Day. Oh my God, where is the summer gone? Well, it is also the 14th Sunday after Pentecost as we celebrate together. Let us begin with the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hidden. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Collect for the 14th Sunday after Pentecost. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Stir up, O Lord, the wills of your faithful people, that richly bearing the fruit of good works, we may by you be richly rewarded through Jesus Christ our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, as before we begin the prayer that our Lord taught us to pray in the Lord's Prayer, I invite you to take a few moments now and think of all those who um, are on your heart and in your mind that need God's healing uh, presence in their life today, uh, that may need some kind of encouragement or some kind of support, but definitely need God's loving arms surrounding them. Think of them now as we offer up the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. And of course, that wonderful doxology. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, forever and ever. Amen. And now may the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you this day and always. <laughs> 